and liftoff. We have liftoff of Anne McLean to Viet St. Jacques and Oleg Kononenko to the International Space Station. Welcome to Space to Ground, I'm Gary Jordan. Three new crew members are now living and working on the International Space Station. Anne McLean of NASA, David St. Jacques of the Canadian Space Agency, and Oleg Kononenko of Roscosmos arrived at the station on Monday and received a warm welcome from their crewmates already on board. The trio's journey from launch to docking lasted just six hours and two minutes and included four laps around the Earth. That's faster than your average transatlantic flight from JFK to Heathrow. The new crew spent some time getting used to their space legs and aiding their crewmates on various tasks where they were able. And there will be much for the new crew to do, including new science that's on its way to the orbiting laboratory. The SpaceX Dragon lifted off from Florida this week with more than 5,600 pounds of cargo, nearly 2,300 pounds of which includes new scientific experiments that will be looking at things like observing Earth's forests, transferring liquid methane fuel, and protein crystal growth. The craft will be arriving early this weekend, so check out nasa.gov slash NTV for the latest schedule and to tune in live. Astro ETAC asks, how do astronauts spend holidays on the space station? Will they have a chance to call their families, celebrate with their crewmates, and even share a meal? Space station crew members are allotted a small amount of mass on cargo vehicles for some fun holiday items of their choosing. Anne McLean even chose an elf on the shelf as a zero-g indicator for her launch. Some mass is also set aside for special holiday food like candy yams, potatoes au gratin, and some shortbread cookies. These items will be arriving soon on the SpaceX Dragon, as well as some cranberry sauce and a fruitcake for the spacefarers to share with one another. Keep sending in your questions using the hashtag space to ground. We'll see you next week.